everyone, please welcome my Phil friend, Spencer, <laughs> director of the Warcraft universe, Bobby Kotick, Chris Metzen. <laughs> There you go. Black t-shirt, black pants, looking like maybe some vans on the feet. I was pretty close, chat. There is no wallet chain though. <laughs> what up, BlizzCon? Look at these fucking nerds in the crowd. Holy smokes. I don't blame them. where you at? That looks like he's tearing up. He did the thing. Holy smokes, thank you. Thank you. It is uh, probably overwhelming. Thank you guys. It has been a long, strange trip to get back to this spot. I tell you that. It has been interesting. Which of my nine alts am I supposed to cheer back for? Back under the hood of World of Warcraft. It has reminded me of a few things. One. I love Warcraft. Number two, you know what? I really missed this work. And number three, on the real, it feels amazing to be back and part of this Blizzard family again. Yeah, Chris Metzen is the uh, original writer for World of As Warcraft. As Holly said a bit ago, next year is the 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft. I can't even believe it. Whatever. How many of y'all have been playing from the beginning? New studio didn't work out? I don't know. I don't know if they're still doing that or not or what the plan is. Crazy. Know. So given that... What's that? Doesn't matter. <laughs> we started thinking, so what next, right? What expansion hook? What single storyline could possibly match such a historic occasion? We started thinking about, well, I did, the good old days, right? And some of those early mythic ideas that kind of established the background of Warcraft. Started thinking about even some of the newer ideas that have played out more recently, but still in a way feel a little unresolved. And in the mix of all that stuff, in the mix of all those ideas, particular things like what the hell has Magni actually been babbling about all these years? <laughs> Was the thing that he came to warn us about in Battle for Azeroth, did it, did it actually play out? Or is there potentially something darker still looming on the horizon? I don't know. <laughs> Will there eventually be an apocalyptic confrontation between the forces of the light and the void. Talk to me, BlizzCon. I'll tell you what, for nothing, my pally main, I'm all in on that kind of thing. If it happens, it's gonna happen. <laughs> and really the big question for all the marbles, what have the Titans actually been doing? since the dawn of civilization. What is the real purpose of all of their cute little installations slammed into the side of the planet? Do we know everything we need to know about their real intentions for our world? Just saying. <laughs> BlizzCon, all of these hooks, and a hundred more, uh, 68, carry the two, a bunch more, <laughs> all cooking in the pot. 
started to reveal a storyline. Something epic. How epic? Real epic. <laughs> a storyline that in almost every way <laughs> feels like the culmination of the first 20 years of our storytelling. A storyline provided we we do our jobs, we do the thing <laughs> that will vector us into the next 20 years of adventure. <laughs> BlizzCon. Are you with me, BlizzCon? <laughs> we call this storyline the World Soul Saga. <laughs> it's about fucking time. The World Soul Saga is so epic, as we covered. <laughs> it cannot be contained within any single expansion. It is built to play out over multiple expansions over the next few years. Come on now. Having said that, we are working on multiple ways to deliver this adventure to you a little faster than you're used to. <laughs> We're not gonna get into it at this BlizzCon, forgive me. But keep your ears peeled. I assure you, we are moving with purpose. And the last thing we really want is for y'all to have to have your grandkids controlling your mouse and your keyboard trying to wrap this thing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> also, given the scale of this monster, we have decided did, to change it up today. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Are they starting patch content with the sword? Instead of just debuting your next expansion all on its lonesome, we have decided to give you a glimpse at your next three expansion what? sets. What? What? Someone said that this could happen and I said that would never occur. I'm eating my words so hard right now and I don't even care. Does this meet with your approval, BlizzCon? What? This is really risky. This is really I'm risky. I warn you, there may be mild spoilers ahead. Actually, I'm just kidding. They ain't mild. Buckle up. Are you ready, BlizzCon? <laughs> the first part of the World Soul Saga and your 10th expansion is called World of Warcraft, The War Within. So we are going inside the planet. The War Within, that's In interesting. Chapter, I like the color scheme. You will be descending into the heart of Azeroth itself, exploring new subterranean kingdoms and engaging with ancient cultures like the Earthen. So the Tauli le the leak was real. Nerubians of Ashkahet. Yeah, let's go. I've been waiting for that. But as the forces of darkness close in around our precious world soul, you. The red, like the constellations yeah, became. Will be called to do what you always do, which is. Dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. <laughs> My man. Talk to me, BlizzCon! <laughs> the second part of the World Soul Saga. This is, is pretty cool slice. World of Warcraft, Midnight. <laughs> In this chapter, you will be returning, ready, to the old world. <laughs> to 
to the fabled lands of Quel'Thalas. There, the forces of the Void have invaded Azeroth, intent on snuffing out the light of the Sunwell and plunging the world into darkness and fear. You will not only help reunify the scattered elven tribes of Azeroth, but you will make your stand with the forces of the light and banish the shadow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The army of the light is coming through that fucking well. BlizzCon, it is Azeroth. That's not good. Things may not go to plan. Things may just spiral wildly out of control. And what happens when the void is defeated? The third part of the World Soul Saga. World of Warcraft, the last titan. <laughs> In this chapter, you will again be returning to the old world. This time, to the wintry lands of Northrend. <laughs> and there, at Ulduar, you will bear witness to the return of the Titans to Azeroth. <laughs> and there, you will uncover a vast conspiracy, one that stretches throughout the history of the world, one that will challenge everything you think you know about the Titans, their intentions, and the true nature of Azeroth itself. In time, my friend, in time. <laughs> and it's called Silithus. There you go. <laughs> BlizzCon, my hope, our dear hope, is that you can see when it comes to WoW's storytelling, we ain't screwing around. We are playing for all the marbles. This fucking guy. We are working to establish a thundering heartbeat for this franchise. Now. <laughs> now, now, BlizzCon. Hearken to me. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Thank you. Whether you are a current player, and I'm going to bet that most of you are, <laughs> or maybe you jumped off the WoW train a few expansions ago, now is the time to come home. <laughs> now is the time to pull on your boots, pick up your broadsword or your favorite glowy staff, and get in this fight. <laughs> Friends, Azeroth needs her defenders now more than ever. Now, in a few moments, we are going to give you a deeper look at the war within. But before we do that, I want to leave you with a little something to chew on. I want to remind you all that sometimes very epic things can begin with small, heartfelt moments. What you're about to see is one of those moments. And with that, BlizzCon, proud defenders of Azeroth! Let the World Soul Saga begin! Anduin? <clears throat> Seems Olduin.
No, he's still young. Young enough. Get to hide. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. Wow. What a line, dude. The subtlety and behind that line. You didn't. Just That's fucking clever. Me. I like that. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect many have lately. They're in Silithus near the sword. It's it's has fire in it, I bet. I bet there's fire in, in the handle. Something. Someone is calling out from the heart of the world. Oh shit. Like a voice from a dream. Is that the world soul? Like a voice from a dream. Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. My son. That looked quite bright and solar to me. Sure did. I am not that person anymore. I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. He can be like his dad now. He can find the fire inside. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you. Getting worse. Do we just hear Azeroth for the first time? Look, whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. That's the sound you of hear in the I Zoval know. fight? But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. Mm. Show the sword. But that sword was aimed at someone. That sword. That sword, motherfucker. Uh, I guess we're not ignoring that sword anymore. <laughs> I do have to say, though, uh, every time I see that cinematic, and I've seen it many times, it gets Thanks, right Alvin. in my heart. Uh, it feels like a new beginning, and it feels like coming home. And we are so excited about where we are going. And now that you've seen their word choice is so interesting during this mm. saga, let's could just be coincidental, but within as we all gather and explore beneath the surface, we'll find an ancient Nerubian civilization. 
They will be led by someone we were first introduced to. Alvin, thank you for the sub. Zalatath, La Luna. A harbinger of the void. Okay. Oh, Zalatath is back. The High void chat. brings destruction and darkness that this threatens all light is in our heavy world. For slash with Azeroth, huh? The last time we saw Zalatath, she promised we would meet again. And it turns out she was right. So the leaks well, were fake. I was fucking told you guys they were. The, the leaks are always fucking fake. The, the world, only one that was real was Towley, and they made him remove it, which gives away that it's probably something, you know, of substance. If it was fake, they wouldn't have told him to take it down. That's the only real leak. My visions. Illyria Windrunner. Not the same as the others. No radiance. No song. Just the shadow taunting me from below. Ashkahet. That looks fucking dope. Radiance song. Yep. I love. I love what? The ringing deeps. Nerubian Raid? Yeah, probably. Yeah, she's the light of creation. Yep. Singing the song of creation the whole time. What the fuck? <gasps> that, that was the tip of the sword. Did you see that? The tip of the sword was coming through the fucking sky. Did you see that? Ooh, Earthen, that's kind of cool. Dynamic flight on all mounts. The fate of our world rests upon the edge of a knife. And our battle Ooh. lies deep within. Cool. Our light power is going from the tip of that sword. It almost looked like it was the color of Azerite. It was like blue and gold at the tip. Beautiful, unique underground zones. We will have challenging dungeons and raids and some new features too that are built to last. And I've said for a while that Azerite exploring on your own with a couple of exists as a result of the power in the sword. Dells. Fusing with Azeroth, of so the tip of the sword potentially being blue and gold could make sense. That will offer end game rewards. Wasn't that a Ritacron's disc that da Zal was holding? I don't know. A familiar character yeah, Argus's energy. Yep, the Unmaker. And if you're like me and you have an Delves. obsession with alts, we have war bands. <laughs> well, she <laughs> laughs about it. So <laughs> laughs about the person in the, in the crowd. Banks, reputations, transmog. <laughs> Shared reputations, transmogs, mounts between your different characters. We're also introducing a new layer of customization for your class specs with hero talents. You might want to take your character down the path of a dark ranger, let's say, or a farseer, and more. <laughs> Also, during your travels underground, you will meet the Earthen Dwarves, and you'll be able to unlock them as our new allied race. I mean, who doesn't love a dwarf? Uh, the facial hair. Are they haven't talked about a level, level cap increase yet. Uh, <laughs> there's so much more to talk about, so please join the What, what Next panel that's coming up right after the opening ceremony right here. What I can tell you, though, is that the call to get into the fight to save our world will ring out when the War Within releases next year. Yeah. Fall 2024. There you go. And lastly, I sincerely want to say, we are so excited to begin this new journey with you. And from our hearts to yours, Thank you for bringing our world to life. Somebody needs to tell her she's doing great. She's so nervous. Yeah, she is doing now, a great job. His own note of thought. Thanks, <laughs> Mike Abara. 
Thank you to all the teams who presented today. There really is so much to look forward over the next two days. Revealing three X Packs back to back, literally beginning. Destiny 2. I True. I can't wait to walk the halls of all of Anaheim with all of you. It is truly a joy to be here with the Blizzard team and our players. BlizzCon, be great to each other and enjoy the show. Well, I wasn't expecting to cry, but that happened. I guess I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> that was, uh... That was a lot. But that sword... was aimed at someone. I think I'm back, dude. <laughs> I mean, if this is what they're going to do, I mean, you really expect me to not fucking do it? I mean, you really expect me to not do it? I mean, there's just no, there's, I mean, I mean, if they're going to, if they're going to go that route, I mean, 